Hi, it's me, Julie Conrad, intuitive healer and teacher, coming to you with another wellness boost this week. This week I chose the topic of resilience. I think that we could all use a boost in kind of just going with that flow, really bouncing back quickly. There's a lot of curveballs that keep coming our way, whether you're a small business owner, or a parent, a worker, um, take your pick, right? Um, resilience is the thing that I really, when I searched my heart, got um, an intuitive hit that we could use a balance on. And of course, I'll um, set the intention to balance immune system and our um, sense of peace and calm with this as well. But I'm just going to get started. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. I use Acunect every week to offer a balance. It's based in ancient Chinese wisdom. And um, there's a chart that I have a paper version, but it's all in my head. Um, and it helps me balance mind, body, and spirit so that you can feel your best. And I'm getting that we're going to start with adrenal glands. And with that, we're going to balance an emotion, um, the emotion of fear. And I'm going to do those two things together. So you can either tap with me. I'm tapping over head and heart to say, hey, make the shift um, with the brain. You can make it happen in the heart to save it. Or you can just lay a hand on your heart or just rest and close your eyes. So let's balance those adrenal glands. And with that, we are going to balance the emotion of fear to improve our resilience in all ways. So nice big breath in. Exhale out. In through the nose, out through the mouth as we balance those adrenal glands to lower stress to help you feel more resilient, right? That you can just bounce back, that you don't have to stay in that fight or flight or in this intense feeling all the time. There we go. And the emotion of fear, releasing excess fear and anxiety, especially from those adrenal glands, to improve your resilience mentally, physically, and emotionally that bounce back factor. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, really fill the belly up. There we go, good job. There's more, let's see, what else could we use? Um, an element, uh, earth, okay. That always helps us feel like our needs are being met, male, female brain, and we're gonna do those together. So balancing element of earth and your male and female halves of your brain, the right and left, Big breath, if you wanna lay a hand on the left side of your rib cage where your stomach and spleen are right beneath it, that is the element of earth controls that and the emotional worry kinda of goes with that. So we're gonna just really focus on letting that go and linking that in with the male and female brain. Really feels like kind of getting rid of some of that monkey mind. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes at night my mind takes off on its own tangent. And in Qigong training, we always compare the mind to a drunken monkey because it, you know, is here and there and everywhere. So really that's what I get as a hit for this is just really starting to calm down that mind that you can live and trust your intuition, that you'll stay in that flow. You can live in your own integrity one day at a time, one breath at a time. Nice big breath. Good. That's complete. What else could we use? Hmm. We're going to the fourth circle here and we're going to balance your defense which help you immune wise as well as being resilient in life and oneness oh i love that okay so defense to oneness and let me see what the hit is that i get on this hmm. this is really a nice connection to your higher self if your higher self's in control then the ego has stepped aside and you're kind of living that most resilient best life and you don't have to take everything personally, which will help you be more resilient. So nice big breath in. You can lay your hands on your rib cage. Balancing the immune system for resilience, vitality. And that sense of oneness, really just feeling into that. Sometimes I like to say, ego step aside, higher self take over. So you could say that. Really this sense of unity of self, a connection to live your best life, yep, to make really great choices, to feel connected to all that is. I think there's a lot of sense of disconnect. So not only with your higher self now, but breathe in and feel that connection to all. We're all in this together and we're all gonna get through it together. There we go, good job. And there's something else, so let me see what that is. And we're going to the nervous system 
mm, limbic gut reactions. I don't know about you, but I can always use a gut reaction balance so that I don't maybe overreact or get a little too triggered. So take some breaths in. There's something to go with this. Limbs, CSF, nerve, and the flow of your nerves. So this really feels like maybe resilience for those people who are getting on your nerves that you can let that go. So limbic gut reactions, flow of nerve. Breathe nice and deep. Mm -hmm. Releasing triggering from that limbic system so it can be more resilient so that you can feel a sense of harmony, calming down all the flow of nerve. Just breathe in and let some golden light just drift right down that spinal cord, calming all the flow of nerves. Smoothing that out, opening up the communication. Mm -hmm. Good job. So you can feel calm inside. Like you just, you've got this. You don't have to be over-triggered by the world or by those who are in quarantine with you. Really breathe. Here comes the shift. You're doing great. Good. Nicely done. And I'm actually getting that that is all we need this week for this nice resilience boost. Um, I am being told to just send a little bit of Reiki energy, which is... Um, a divine based energy of healing and love right into your heart center. Just breathe in and feel a warmth spread in through your chest. Let it kind of just ripple out and down your arms and up into your face, bringing a slight smile to your face. Good. So I'm going to sit here and send that a little bit longer, but I'm going to end the video and just know that this wellness boost is intended to help you feel your best and uh, live your best life even in these uncertain circumstances. You've got this and you're doing a great job. Feel free to share this video, like it, make a comment, tell me what you'd like a wellness boost on and I'll be sure to record one in the upcoming weeks and I will see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.